The next phase is the 124th episode of the American syndicated science fiction television series Star Trek. The Next Generation, the 24th episode of the fifth season. In this episode, the Enterprise responds to a distress call from a Romulan science ship. Lieutenant Commander Geordi Laugh or Janensen Rolaren are lost in a transporter accident when returning to the Enterprise with a faulty generator. From the Romulan ship, plot. As the Federation Starship Enterprise responds to a distress call from a Romulan ship which has suffered an onboard explosion, Ensign Rowe and Lieutenant Commander La Forge are seemingly lost in a beam in from the Romulan ship to the Enterprise. Rowe and La Forge find themselves on the Enterprise, unable to interact with the ship or the crew, but able to interact with each other. While La Forge believes they're still alive, Rowe sees Drive, Crusher make out their death certificates and believes they're dead. She tries to make peace with her former crewmates as they prepare a funeral service. Commander Data traces the cause of the transportation accident to the Romulan ship. Roe and La Forge go along with Data and LT. Worf as they fly a shuttlecraft to the Romulan ship. Aboard, La Forge discovers a phase inverter device, and theorizes that he and Roe are out of phase, and thus undetectable. He also overhears the Romulan crew discussing a plan to transmit a signal to the Enterprise that will cause the warp core to explode the next time. The ship enters warp. The two return with Data and Worf to the Enterprise to try to warn the crew, unaware that a Romulan, also out of phase, is following them. On board the Enterprise, LaForge watches Data as he analyzes the data from the Romulan ship, and discovers high levels of chronotin emissions. Part of the failing of the transporter system, La Forge recognizes that by passing through objects on the ship, he can create those emissions, and tries to encourage Data to study them more, but fails. Roe encounters the Romulan, armed with a disruptor, and leads him on a chase through the walls of the crew quarters, releasing more chronotin radiation that catches Data's interest. When Data enters the room where the Romulan has cornered Ro, LaForge rushes the Romulan, causing him to fly through the external hull of the ship into space. LaForge recovers the disruptor, although Captain Picard orders the ship into warp after their investigation is complete. Data cautions him to not do so until he completes a sweep of the ship with anion particles to remove the chronotin radiation. Knowing that time is short before the ship will enter warp, Roe and La Forge head to the funeral, which has become more of a festive wake in celebration, and attempt to phase through objects. They fire the Romulan's disruptor to attract the attention of the attendees. When this does not work, Ro sets the disruptor to overload, causing a large burst of chronotin radiation. Data instructs the computer to sweep 10 forward with anion particles, causing Ro and La Forge to temporarily become visible in front of Data and Picard. Data deduces the fate of the crew members, and orders another massive flood of anion particles, which brings Ro and La Forge back into phase. La Forge is able to warn engineering about the warp core in time. He and Ro then join their funeral and celebrate with the rest of the crew.